So all of us, everyone on this planet, um, babies when they get to whatever age, when they can understand it between right and wrong, we all sin. But that, that's our natural, that's our what I would call our Adamic nature that yeah. we inherited from Adam to sin. Yeah. Sinful nature, yeah? Yeah, yeah sinful nature. Okay. The difference with Jesus is that he was sinless, but when he died on the cross, at that point where it says, oh my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? In prophecy of what David said in the Psalms, at that point, he took on the sins of the world. Jesus Christ took on the sins of the world and God couldn't, God can't use, God can't hold sin, so he turned his back on Jesus for a point in time. And then on the cross, Jesus said, it is finished, and he gave up the spirit, he gave up his life. Okay. Yeah. And then three days later, he rose again. God raised Jesus back in accordance with the prophecy. And then therefore, the, you have the Trinity. Okay, so once again, if Jesus is fully God, just like the Father is fully God, and the Holy Spirit is fully God, and you said, uh, God cannot be in the presence of sin, yeah. Yes. When when Jesus took upon the sin on himself, sin of the world. Yeah. Was he God? Yeah, because if you're God, you can't not be God. So exactly. When, when Jesus. So that's what I'm asking you. The Father cannot be in the presence of sin. Yes. How can the second person of the Trinity be in the presence of sin if they both are? How can the second person? You be? said the second person of the Trinity yeah. took upon the yeah, sin yeah, of the yeah, world. Yeah, took, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. can he be in the presence of sin? If your principle is that God cannot be in the presence of sin. So, so God couldn't behold sin for a point in time, which is where... Which God couldn't hold sin? Yahweh. Okay, so the Father, right? Yeah, yeah, the Father. Yeah, I like yeah, the yeah. way you use Yahweh instead of Father now. Yeah, but Yahweh is the Father, so it's, it's the same... Okay, so the Father so cannot... It's like saying the name of your Father. Fair enough. Okay. You're saying the Father cannot hold sin? Behold, yeah. yeah cannot yeah, behold yeah, sin? In, in His presence, yeah, yeah, That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can the Son behold sin? Well, yeah, because He was in His human nature. So who is who's taking the sins on them? Human or God? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Because Jesus can die. On the you cross. see why, how you answer that question? Yeah. So once so, again, human or the divine, which essence or which uh, nature of Jesus took upon the sin on the human or the divine? The, the human nature. The human nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is the human nature, according to the Bible. Human cannot take on sins of others. That's another principle which you're going against now. Yeah, but then but humans don't have a divine nature. Jesus is the only being in, in That's why I asked you, who took, the na yeah, who, who took upon himself the, uh, the sins, yeah, the yeah. human or the divine? Jesus. The re and let me give the, explain the answer to that. The reason why I say Jesus is because one of his titles is the Lamb of God. Um, lambs obviously were sacrificed. I, I showed you. Yeah, carry on. Carry All right, on. Yeah, la la lambs were one of the animals used to sacrifice for atonement of sins. Lambs, turtle doves, goats, etc. Rams, bulls. Yeah. They were Lots of animals. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The blood. Yeah, the blood was shed. And in Leviticus, um, I, I can't remember what the, which um, verse it is, but Leviticus it says that without the shedding of blood, uh, there's no remission of sins. That's actually so, in uh, Hebrews nine twenty two. Yeah, but it's, it's quoting from Leviticus. That's what I'm saying. The human nature. By the way, it wasn't human sacrifice. Say again. In Leviticus, it wasn't human sacrifice. Well, of course it wasn't. Okay, so it's not quoting human sacrifice. No, no, it says, it says without the shedding of blood. Yeah, but, but shedding the blood of not a human, right? Because in the Old Testament, God makes it very clear yeah. that it will not even cross God's mind that anyone should sacrifice humans. Yeah, but... God, but in the New Testament, it is specifically talking about human sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, how, is it, how is it human sacrifice? Okay, who was sacrificed on the cross? Uh, Jesus. Was he human? Yes.